The twelfth law of power emphasizes on using selective honesty and generosity as a tool for manipulation. This strategy involves employing genuine acts of sincerity and generosity to break down the defenses of suspicious individuals, rendering them more susceptible to manipulation. Such open-hearted gestures create a chink in their armor, allowing the deceiver to exploit them as desired. An appropriately timed gift, analogous to a Trojan horse, can serve the same purpose. A real-life example that embodies this principle is the encounter between Count Victor Lustig and Al Capone in 1926. Lustig, a skilled con artist, recognized the power of targeting a notorious figure like Capone. Instead of employing a traditional con, Lustig approached Capone with an offer to double this $50,000 investment. However, rather than immediately attempting to deceive him, Lustig gained Capone's trust by returning the money when his plan failed. This unexpected act of honesty disarmed Capone, who was accustomed to dealing with deception and mistrust. Capone gave Lustig $5,000 to help him. The $5,000 was what Lustig had been after all along. The sincerity of Lustig's gesture confused and distracted Capone, creating an opportune moment for manipulation. Lustig's success in disarming Capone can be attributed to his understanding of human psychology. He realized that individuals like Capone, who are surrounded by deceit and hostility, secretly long for genuine acts of kindness and honesty. By unexpectedly providing such an act, Lustig exploited Capone's desire to believe in the authenticity of others. This emotional vulnerability made Capone more susceptible to manipulation, a tactic that Lustig exploited for his own gain. The lesson from this law is that even the most guarded and cynical individuals can be disarmed through well-timed displays of honesty and generosity. By tapping into their craving for authenticity, manipulators can gain the upper hand and influence their victims. The key lies in creating a sense of conflicting emotions within the target, distracting them and making them easier to deceive. The Twelfth Law advocates for the strategic use of selective honesty and generosity to disarm and manipulate individuals who are typically guarded and suspicious. Count Victor Lustig's encounter with Al Capone serves as a real-life illustration of this concept. By understanding the psychology behind the desire for authenticity, manipulators can wield this tactic to gain power and control over their targets. Deception thrives on distraction, granting the deceiver the opportunity to carry out unnoticed actions. Among the various tactics, an act of kindness, generosity, or honesty stands out as a potent form of distraction. This strategy disarms suspicions, turning individuals into receptive recipients of affectionate gestures. Ancient China termed this as giving before you take, a means of making the taking inconspicuous by first giving. This method boasts diverse applications, preventing the dangers of direct taking or needy requests that can breed resentment. Selective honesty is particularly impactful during initial encounters. First impressions tend to linger, and an early perception of honesty is difficult to dispel. It offers maneuvering space for the deceiver. A historical example is Jay Gould, who, like Al Capone, was distrustful. During a crisis involving phony stock certificates, Lord John Gordon Gordon extended help to Gould, revealing the scheme's perpetrators. Through a series of genuine actions, Gordon Gordon won Gould's trust, persuading him to collaborate in purchasing a controlling stake in Erie Railroad. However, Gordon Gordon's true identity was eventually exposed, demonstrating that while a single act of honesty can be convincing, a consistent reputation for honesty is more substantial. Deception capitalizes on distraction, with acts of kindness and honesty being effective methods to divert attention and create receptivity. The practice of giving before you take conceals ulterior motives, while selective honesty establishes lasting impressions that influence future perceptions. A reputation for honesty built on inconsequential yet consistent actions can be a potent tool for manipulation. In ancient China, Duke Wu of Cheng orchestrated a covert plan to seize power from the ascended kingdom of Hu. Unbeknownst to his court, he married his daughter to Hu's ruler. Skillfully, he convened a council and inquired, I contemplate a military campaign. Which realm should we target? As anticipated, a minister suggested attacking Hu. 
Pretending anger, Duke Wu rebuked, who is now our sister state. Why advocate invasion? The minister's impolitic remark cost him his life. This display reached Wu's ruler, who, considering Wu's apparent sincerity and the familial union, dismissed his defenses. Weeks later, Chang's forces swiftly overwhelmed Wu, securing their conquest. Honesty disarms the vigilant, but alternate tactics exist. Benevolent, selfless acts, notably generosity, hold similar power. A gift, even from an ardent adversary, wields undeniable allure, breaking down defenses by awakening our inner innocence. Beneath the surface, the Machiavellian nature of gifts often conceals ulterior motives. Thus, gifts become masterful tools for veiling deceptive maneuvers. Around three millennia ago, the ancient Greeks embarked on a voyage to recapture Helen, stolen by Paris, and to raise Troy, Paris's city. The prolonged ten-year siege claimed numerous heroic lives, yet triumph eluded both sides. One pivotal day, the revered prophet Calchas assembled the Greek ranks. Stop battering away at these walls, he admonished, advocating a shift from brute force. You must find some cunning stratagem, we cannot take Troy by force alone. Enter the astute Greek leader, Odysseus, who proposed the ingenious idea of a giant wooden horse concealing soldiers, presented as a gift to the Trojans. Neoptolemus, son of Achilles, rebuked the stratagem as unmanly, deeming it better for many to die honorably in battle than to deceitfully attain victory. Nevertheless, the soldiers faced a choice, enduring a decade of valor and death or embracing swift triumph. They chose the horse, promptly executing the ruse. The trick succeeded, leading to Troy's fall. Remarkably, a single deceptive gift outshone a decade of arduous combat, etching an enduring legacy in Greek history. When a history of deceit precedes you, attempting to win people over with sudden honesty, generosity, or kindness can backfire, only highlighting suspicion. In such situations, adopting a rogue persona can be more effective. Count Lustig, orchestrating a grand con, was on the brink of duping an industrialist into buying the Eiffel Tower as scrap metal. However, the mark grew suspicious. To quell doubt, Lustig leaned in and confessed financial struggles, creating an aura of dishonesty that paradoxically gained trust. French diplomat Talleyrand's reputation as a master liar worked to his advantage. He would fabricate absurd tales, obscuring his genuine deceptions. By openly embracing dishonesty, he blurred the lines between his real and fabricated lies. The art of reversal is a powerful tool, overt deceit can camouflage tracks and even garner admiration for the honesty inherent in one's deception. The fluidity of power defies rigid definitions, demonstrating that strategic reversal can enhance influence through the subtleties of deception. Key Takeaways Selective Honesty and Generosity Employing selective honesty and generosity can disarm individuals, making them more receptive to manipulation. Such open-hearted gestures can breach their defenses, allowing for easier manipulation once trust is established. Strategic Deception Deceptive acts, when strategically timed, can create distractions that facilitate manipulation. Employing acts of kindness, generosity, or honesty serves as a potent diversion, distracting individuals from your true intentions. The Power of Gifts Offering gifts or acts of apparent selflessness can disarm even the most skeptical individuals. A well-timed gift not only lowers defenses, but also appeals to the recipient's emotional vulnerabilities, making them more susceptible to manipulation. Reputation for Deception If a reputation for deception precedes you, sudden displays of honesty or kindness can raise suspicion. In such cases, embracing your deceptive persona and playing the rogue can be more effective in maintaining trust and achieving your goals. What about you, though? Have you ever tried to use selective honesty to gain for more? Share your experience in the comments so others can learn from you, too. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our new videos posted every week. Catch you in the next video.